Are you going to keep your coat on? Oh, no. no. Can you confirm your date of birth, please? Uh, yeah, uh, it's Trevor Suggs. Your date of birth? Oh, birth, yes, sorry. Uh, birth is uh, the 3rd of March, 1990. Can you confirm your full name, please? Yep, uh, 3rd of March, 1990. Uh, it's Trevor Suggs. Uh, S-U-G-G-S. Read and sign the driver's declaration. Of course, uh, gosh, why did they make this writing so tiny? You know? <laughs> it's like, help me out. Can you sign it? Yes. Okay, I'm signed. Ooh. Right. Please tell me how you check the tires to ensure the tread depth is sufficient and that the car is safe for general use on the road. I check for any cuts or bulges. 1.6 millimeter of tread depth across the central three quarters of the tire and around the entire outer circumference. What do you think we need to carry on with the test? Ah, uh, seatbelt. Uh, mirrors. Looking good, big boy. Sorry. What else do we need to carry on with the test? It is not a trick question, Mr. Suggs. What else do we need to proceed with the test? To drive? Great. And what do you need to drive? A license. You're wasting your own time. Keys, keys, keys! Put in the key, Mr. Suggs. Mm -hmm. What, excuse me, sorry, what is that? What is that on my key? It's pickles. Can you please remove pickles from my key? No, uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, sorry, yes, I... Yes, can you, can you please do that? Can you please remove pickles from my key? This is not, this is not your key, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. So then why have you attached this filthy furry thing to something that doesn't belong to you. It's my, it's my good luck charm and uh, I, I never drive without, I mean, obviously I, I don't drive yet. But... Remove it. Okay, I'll, I'll show it to you, but um, please take care of her. No, 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 no. Oh, Start no, the car, no, Mr. No, Suggs. No, 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 that's my pickles. Have you actually had like have you actually had driving lessons? Yes, but, but then you don't need pickles. I do. you, no, you don't. If people just focused and concentrated and kept their cool, they wouldn't need gimmicks like I'm that. Sorry, it's not a gimmick. Okay. Do you think that when I was learning to drive, I needed gimmicks like that? A, a pacifier, a stabilizer. You're a grown man, you don't need pickles. Jesus Christ, you sleep with it. Don't answer that. If you prepare, then you don't need gimmicks. If only you had read my book, Born to Drive. That is your lucky charm. Knowledge, learning, not pickles. Mr. Suggs, can you please start the car? We need to be on the road now. It's my ex. And it's not a... I got it for my ex and she recently dumped me and she's the love of my life and I was just hoping to give it back to her one day. And it, bring me, it brings me loads of luck and I've had it for six years now. 
for your information, I have read your book. It helped me a lot after my tenth failure. Now I've failed 19 times. And I don't know what it is. My lessons, things seem to go all right. But when I come to days like this, I just... I shouldn't be telling you all of this anyway. You've read my book. I'm very sorry to hear about your breakup. I know how difficult those things can be. But you just need to start the car. Have you ever heard of pickles? I might have had something similar to a pickles, yes. But I learned to not need it skill and a cool nerve that is what you need in life life teaches you mr suggs and sometimes you just have to put the key in the ignition and drive you've read my book born to drive are you born to drive hmm. yeah i guess just say it with confidence I was born to drive. I am born to drive. I am born to Louder! Drive. I am born to drive. You're hesitating, you don't believe in what you're saying. I am born to drive. I am born to drive. I am born to drive. <laughs> I am born to drive. <laughs> Thank you.